What's going on everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk and welcome to the wrap up and today I'm going to review Thor Love and Thunder which 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 stars Chris Hemsworth reprising his role as Thor, Tessa Thompson reply, reprising her role as Valk, Valkyrie, and you got Natalie Portman who is reprising her role as Jane Foster, but now we see her as Lady Thor. And got Christian Bale playing the main villain, Gore the God Butcher. Man, dude, let me tell you something. So this movie pretty much takes place after the events of, of Endgame. It is the fourth Thor movie. Now, I'm going to be honest. I haven't seen all of the Thor movies. But this one, this one I thought was, I didn't think it was better than, than Ragnarok. I mean, it didn't suck, but just wasn't better than Ragnarok. I mean, the storyline of the movie, you got Thor. You know, he's he's teaming up with Lady Thor and and um, Valkyrie, you know, well, and... And also the and and also the other guy, um, who uh, the the rock guy who I can I cannot remember what his name was what his name is at this at this moment. But yes, you know they are teaming up to they're pretty much teaming up to to take out Gore the God Butcher. And yes, this movie it has it was pretty entertaining. I'm not gonna lie, storyline of it is good. You know, it's kind of like a little action romance movie. You know, th this is Thor and this is pretty much Thor and Lady Thor, you know, meeting up for the first time in after so many years. But um, the action was good. And, you know, I did, you know, I, I was entertained. You know, I wasn't bored throughout the whole movie. I was entertained about the movie. It was just the flow of the movie. And how the way the movie went is what... Is what got me, but I mean overall, yeah. I mean, like I said, it wasn't a bad movie, and it's definitely not one of the bad movies of of the year. Now, 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 is it one of the now is it one of the bad Marvel movies? No, I don't even put it. I wouldn't even put it as one of the bad Marvel movies. You know, it just it just wasn't better than just wasn't better than Ragnarok. But you know, man, ju and judging by how the way it ended, could another Thor be made? Yes, and would I go see it? Yes, I will go see it, cause after seeing Thor so much in in the Marvel, you know, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he actually has became one of my favorite heroes, and Chris Hemsworth does an amazing job as always playing Thor. You know what I mean? And you do. You, there are some funny parts in it, of course, because it's Thor, and 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 some scenes, you know, and and stuff that was the funny parts that was in it. They was pretty funny to me, but, you know, I mean, it just, you know, it just didn't, you know, it, it's just not better than the, um, than the, than the last one. And I did hear some mixed reviews about it, but, you know, I guess I'm going to have to watch Thor and Thor Dark World in order to still get a clear understanding. And from what I hear about, and from, and from what I heard about the first two Thors, it sounds like this, sounds like Love and Thunder, Thunder was better than, than Dark World. So I guess I'm about to get to those, but Thor: Love and Thunder. If you are a fan, if you're a Marvel fan, I think you will like it. If you're a fan of Thor, I think you will like it. You know, and it was also nice to see another hero just come about in the MCU. You know, you got Lady Thor, and you know, if we and I would like to see more of Lady Thor in the MCU because because Natalie Portman did a good job playing her and. And you know it was and and it was nice to see it was nice to see her see her play that part you know and playing the superhero part of course and Christian Bale did a good job too playing the villain it was you know Christian Bale I mean I mean he's he was I mean he's better as Batman but yeah he's also a good villain as as well and Thor Love and Thunder you know it's for. It's, it's definitely something that I think that, that I think it is entertaining for the whole family. And no, I'm not gonna spoil anything because you know on the rap rate on here on the I'm sorry on the wrap the wrap up we you know we don't spoil nothing. And you no, know, there is a little I mean when it comes to like the the mid credits or end credit scene, 
yeah, it is a little bit of a of a surprise, which also makes it seem like it could be a sequel. But yeah, um, another good movie for the MCU, in my opinion, and for for Thor: Love and Thunder's great. I give it a I give it a B. Give it a B minus, actually. I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B minus. And for for its rating of stars out of five stars, I give Thor: Love and Thunder. I give it three out of five stars. And should you go see it, or should you wait for it to go to Redbox? I think you should definitely go see it. Definitely go see it. You know, you will not be disappointed. I don't think you will waste your money if you go see it. You know, it is definitely entertaining. It's funny. You know, it's fun. And also just nice to see another Thor movie. So, until then, this is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap-up. If you like this video, hit like. Feel free to comment below what you thought about the movie or this review. And if you want to hit if you want to see more reviews from me, you hit that subscribe button to see some.